Hi, my name is Larry Jordan, and welcome to this power-up tutorial on creating motion menus for DVDs using motion. We've done menus for DVDs for a long time inside Photoshop, but now we can start to add motion to them. And there's lots of different applications that allow us to add motion to our menus, but one of the best ones is motion itself. The problem is motion has a different interface and sometimes it's difficult to learn. So what I want to do today is to walk you through two different processes. One is the process of creating a menu inside motion and getting into DVD Studio Pro. And the second is to create a very nice looking motion menu when you've got zero design skills and no resources to work with except that which comes with the motion library itself. There's a lot of stuff to cover and I'm looking forward to showing it to you. So let's get ourselves started. Why should we even use Motion for DVD menus? Well, Motion easily creates and combines audio, video, and graphic elements in a single file. Other applications can combine them. Motion creates them as well. And it's easy to round trip between DVD Studio Pro and Motion for making adjustments to the files that we create. There's no need to render or export our movie files. All we have to do is to save the Motion project, which is far smaller than a movie file. We can easily create DVD menu button overlays inside Motion, and we can easily set and modify the DVD menu loop point. Now, I'm not going to define what the DVD menu loop point is for right now, but I will define it before this session is over. Our goals for this webinar are to have two exercises. The first creates a simple DVD menu. In it, I want to show you how to create button overlay graphics, save and import the file into DVD Studio Pro, create a menu and add the motion file to it inside DVD Studio Pro. Then send the file back to motion to make some changes and have them automatically updated inside DVD Studio Pro. The goal here is to show the process because the menu we're going to create is really simple. The second exercise though, we're going to take this to a different extreme. We're going to create a motion menu for DVD inside motion itself. We'll create a much more complex motion menu in motion. We'll add a DVD menu loop marker, which I will define, but not until the second exercise. We'll create button overlays, and we'll import the whole shoot and match into DVD Studio Pro and use it to create a new menu. I need to stress that the process of getting files out of motion is the same, whether our motion project is simple or complex. But this gives me an opportunity to showcase some of the new features of motion graphics that we have inside motion that we don't have inside Final Cut or even Live Type for that matter. Our first exercise is something simple. Our goal for this exercise is to learn how to create DVD button overlays, get the file into DVD Studio Pro, add it to a menu, and easily make changes. What we're looking at here in exercise one is the process of getting the files from motion to DVD Studio Pro. Then in the second exercise, we'll look at the creative part of the process. So here in exercise one, we're looking at workflow. Along the way, I'm going to cover some new techniques, specifically how to show and hide layers in motion, how to export a single frame from motion as a TIFF image, how to import the menu into DVD Studio Pro, how to import the overlay file, how to create menu buttons with overlays, how to set button overlay colors, and how to make changes to the motion source file and have those changes reflected back into DVD Studio Pro. So that's where we're headed. Let's get ourselves started. Ta-da! There is our menu. Is that not enough to just bring tears to your eyes? Look at the creativity involved. We've got a background, that's the blue square, a title, <laughs> and some menu buttons. Now, last week, when we did our Introduction to Motion webinar, we talked about how to set project properties and the basic interface and the operations. So I'm building on that webinar for this one. 